everyone welcome back to my channel um usually I start off with my intro as like oh I'm so excited to review this product because naturally I am um you know most products most products I run into or what I purchase I love um and then there are those that I don't and unfortunately with this review I'm going to go into everything um, I don't love it and I have to tell you that right off the bat I'm disappointed um, but let's start from the beginning so Natasha Denona Metropolis palettes when I saw this palette announced in online mm, I was drawn to it okay the color story was beautiful the fact that she put more shades with smaller amounts in the palette made me so excited it's like okay it's worth it it's worth the price tag there are more shades to choose from I already love I own her sunset palette I own her like um, her cheek and highlight palette I can't remember which one that is I'll have like a picture right here for you guys um, and I own her little camel palette those are phenomenal like I would buy those time and time again because they are amazing okay yes I know you kind of pay for the name with her brand but those are literally amazing amazing this one uh, okay <laughs> let's break it down so this is the box right here beautiful green packaging I don't really know if you can see it because of my black background I didn't have time to raise it up to the gold uh, on the back it does give you all of these shade names it lets you know how exactly to use these shadows it lets you know the shadow names and all the ingredients that are in here uh, and of course it tells you how long it is good for um, so it says how to use for matte eyeshadows apply with a fluffy eye brush to blend or detail brushed for precision metallic and duo chromes uh, apply with dense eyeshadow brush for a subtle finish for a high payoff foil finish apply with a damp eyeshadow brush or with the tip of your finger now that is known in some of her other palettes it just works better with your finger that's fine with me not a deal breaker I have no problem using my finger for shadows um, now it was announced that she changed her formula Natasha Denona is kind of known for changing her formula throughout the palettes I kind of wish that she would find a formula that she loves that everybody loves and stick to it but that's my personal opinion um, I love her sunset palette like I said I love her camel palette I think those are phenomenal if they are going to be quality like that then I am down for it um, so this is a new formula and I knew that going into it now this does retail for yes $129 so let's get to the palette itself First of all, it's just like her sunset palette um, with, as far as style wise, which I love that about it. It feels sturdy. It feels durable. Um, I love that green like shiny finish on it. It just makes it feel different and I love that. Uh, and then of course you open it up, you have the mirror, which is a really nice mirror. You have all of the shade names on this little plastic piece, which I always love. Um, and then of course here are your shadows it looks beautiful it really does look beautiful I love the the colors when you first look at the palette um, I am wearing it on my eyes today I'm not really thrilled <laughs> with the eye look I came up with this was my fifth eye look that I tried to do and we'll get into that a little bit later um, so what I am going to do is I'm going to go ahead and show you guys swatches and then we'll come back and I'll go into more details um, about the palette.
Okay, so here are all of your swatches. If you guys were paying attention, you might have already noticed my very first complaint. So let's take a look at it again. A lot of similarities going on, right? All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and wipe this off really fast, um, and then we'll talk. Okay, so like I said, I have done several eye looks with this palette, and I have not liked a single one. Um, the only one that I have came even close to saying, oh, it's okay, is the one I'm wearing, and I'm still not even happy with it. Um, so my first complaint are there are two many similar shades I'm about to show you so we have these two shades right here let me go ahead and swatch them and I'll give you the side by side okay so these are on the fingers well I mean yes they're a slight difference but when you put them on the eye you can't even tell that slight difference like I I started to and it just looked like a muddied mess So there are your two swatches. Yes, this one is a little bit darker than this one, but not much. <laughs> not enough to make a difference on the eyes if you're gonna use these together. Now the next two I was also disappointed in. So that would be this dark shade down here and this shade right here. Once again, they're similar, they're not exact. It's not a, it's not a double. Um, you can tell a slight difference, but on the eyes, it's still, it's hard to. So there's your two swatches. One definitely looks a little bit more green, one looks a little bit more blue, but when you put them side by side, you tell me how much of a difference that is. Slight, right? For $129, $129, That, that makes me mad, actually, a little, oh, that kind of makes me mad. All right, let's 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 keep going. So those are the, the definite four shades that stuck out to me that are just like, good grief. <laughs> these brown, these two browns right here, side by side. One is definitely darker, but still it's not enough to make a difference on the eyes, in my opinion. See? Yes, you can tell this one is darker, but putting on the eyes, they blend right together into one shade. Okay, so the next two um, are these two shades, which they look different in the pan, so you would not think that they are that similar, but to me, they are. So it's this one right here, and this one right here. Okay. There's the two side by side. Once again, a slight difference, but still for $129, for me, it's too similar. What I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna swatch these gold shades side by side. I think this one is definitely different, but um, I'm gonna go ahead and swatch these four side by side. So we got one, two, three, which by the way, I had trouble with this third shade right here. No matter what I did, fingertip, wet brush, it just did not apply right. And I was really frustrated with it to where I just wiped it all off. So there's your four gold shades. Okay, let's watch these down here by side by side. <laughs> okay, there's your four gold shades that you have in this palette. I honestly think there should have been more thought put into this palette. This literally could have been the perfect palette for me. I love Natasha Denona. It's a 28 pan palette, which you get more shadows for the same price as her Sunset and Leela palette, which I would think would be so much better, okay? But when you have this happening where there's a slight difference, 
but all of it looks the same. Not only for me does it look all the same no matter what I do on the eye sh on, on my eyes, um, I just don't feel that for $129 that this is worth it for me. This really actually makes me very upset. Maybe I shouldn't be as upset, but I am. I mean, it's my money. I spent it thinking that I was going to get this luxury, beautiful product just like I have from my Sunset Palette. But that's not what I got in my opinion. And I have to be honest and I have to share that with you guys, no matter if you love me or hate me for it. Um, it doesn't matter. That is not worth it to me. I am really upset with that. Now, like I was saying earlier, I had issues with the shimmer shade. Um, I had issues with this one right here, which, what is this shade? Which is the shade Penny. Um, I started with a dry brush, didn't like the way it looked. I knew, even though I was starting with a dry brush, that Natasha Denona um, shimmers are always better with a wet brush or a finger. So I went in with a wet brush first, still didn't like the way it looked. Um, something was just weird about it. It didn't pack on right. So I decided to go ahead and go in with my finger. Should be no problem after I use my finger. But once again, it kind of like chunked up on the lid and it just looked really, really bad. And no matter what I did, I couldn't smooth it out with my finger. I tried to go back in with my brush, didn't smooth it out. So it looked chunky. It just, it was awful. Um, probably one of the worst shimmer shades I have used in a while. Um, also, now I do have on my lid today, I have um, this one, I have these two, and I have this gold one. This one did apply a lot better um, with a wet brush, uh, but it's still having another issue that I had with the shimmers. So this one you'll be able to see a lot better. So this shade is beautiful, beautiful shimmer. But my problem with the shimmers are when I blend near them. So if I pack it on my lid and I take a brush and I kind of blend, blend it into the matte shadow that I have, it's like it blends away and I have to apply it again. Um, I don't know why it does that. It kind of did that in my swatch as well. So you can see really, really pretty, really pigmented. I'm going to come in a little bit closer. So if I'm like rubbing it, it kind of disappears. Yeah, it disappears. You see that? That shimmer, <laughs> I, it's just not what it was. So even though it was nice and shimmery, once I applied it, you just saw it, it disappeared. That shimmer disappeared. So that's the problem I was having with these other ones. Let's see, where is it? I think this is the penny one. Rubbing it, okay. Once again, it's disappearing. That shimmer is disappearing. See? I'll try it with another one. Um, let's see. Let's do the blue one. Okay. So we got the blue on there. Nice and pretty. Very shimmery. Want to put that on your lid, right? Okay. Let's blend it. Because I would be, you know, patting it on my lid. And maybe taking a brush at the top. You see what happens? Same thing as the green. Same thing as uh, this one right here. It just disappears. So if you were to take your brush and blend out the shadow next to it, it's gonna disappear. <laughs> what is with that? <laughs> um, I know my Sunset palette doesn't do that. My Camel palette doesn't do that. Yes, those are different formulas, I understand that. Um, my other palettes that I have, don't do that. All right. So all in all, I would say this is definitely a pass. If you were really wanting to splurge on Natasha Denona, um, maybe you haven't tried it before and you finally are able to test it out, 
don't get this palette. I would not recommend this palette. I think there was so much potential here and it was just completely missed. Um, so I'm very, very disappointed with this. I will definitely be returning this palette. I just cannot, cannot keep this in my collection knowing I spent $129 and I'm not happy with this palette. That just breaks my heart. I would rather, even though they're probably going to give me a gift card, um, whatever, I can use it and I would rather use it on an anything else. <laughs> um, something else that is going to make me happy, basically. Uh, if you want to try Natasha Denona, I highly suggest the Camel Palette. I love that palette. I highly suggest the Sunset Palette. I love those palettes. They perform fantastic. Uh, this was completely a miss. So I'm very sorry to be the bearer of bad news. Once again, this is my personal opinion. You can take it with a grain of salt. If you have this palette, you love it. It's fantastic for you. That's awesome. I'm so glad it worked out for you. It just did not work for me and I cannot suggest it. So guys, that is it. That is all I have to say. I'm so sorry that this was a little bit of a heavier video, um, a little bit more of a negative video. I hate when I have to do videos like this, but you will always, always have the truth for me. So if you guys could show a little bit of love for me, I would really appreciate it. Give me that thumbs up before you go and I'll see you next time. Bye.